ho, ho. What's going on guys, Casual Savage here and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to do a glitch effect in Premiere Pro. Now just before I get into this video, if you'd like to request a tutorial, then be sure to leave it in the comments below or ask me on Twitter. So as you can see I have Premiere Pro opened up and this is a short clip of me walking and as you'll see, I'm just walking pretending to be on my phone because it was for that short film I created. As you'll see I've already split something here and this is where I want the glitch effect to happen, so this little section here. All I'm going to do is select it and press Ctrl C. I'm going to come to the end and press Ctrl V up here and we're going to drag this above and drag the audio below and sync it up like so. Okay so the next thing you want to do is make sure you select this top track we have just duplicated and then come to the effect controls. Now what we're going to be doing is some keyframing. We're going to come to position and select the animation button so it is toggled. Now this is very simple. All we're going to do is come across one keyframe by pressing this button here and then we're going to move it to the left by left clicking and dragging this one as you can see like so. Now we're going to zoom in here. Now what you do next is come to the first keyframe, press Control C then come to this next keyframe, come across two keyframes, so one, two, then press Control V to paste it in. Now for some reason it's not letting me paste in my keyframe, not too sure why, just before I done this video I tested it all out and it was working. But anyway, what we're going to have to do instead is just come here and change this back to the normal resolution which was 960. As you can see everything's back to normal. Then we're going to come across one keyframe again, and now maybe we can move this again, make it go up. Then we're going to come across two keyframes, so one, two, and now we're going to change this back to 540, so it's back to default. And this is all we're going to do, so one keyframe, maybe make it go left this or right this time. Then we're going to come across two keyframes, so one, two, and then we're going to change this to 960. And you're just going to keep going like this until you reach the end, and I'm going to fast forward all of this part. Okay, there you go. As you can see, if you have this problem as well, and there's just one keyframe left, just make sure it's left back to normal like so. Now, if I play this through, it's going to look a bit weird, but it will look better once we've added other effects. So let's play this. As you can see, that's what it looks like, and it goes back to normal. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to add a glitch overlay. As you can see, I've already got it in my project. A download link to this will also be in the description. I got this from YouTube itself. I'm going to drag and drop this onto video track three. If I just play this, as you can see, that is what it's going to look like. So what we need to do is left click it, right click and set to frame size. As you can see, it's like that. But now we can't see the video below. What you're going to do, left click that glitch effect, come to the blend mode right here and we're going to change this to screen. So if I just play this from the beginning now, this is going to be complete. As you can see, that is what it looks like. It's super simple to do and it looks really clean. Like I mentioned at the start of the video, if you'd like to request a tutorial, then be sure to leave it in the comments below or ask me on Twitter. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, rate and peace. Oh, oh.